Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem Fundamental Problems F 5 3 from RC Hippaler Engineering Statics 15th edition. So, according to this problem, the truss is supported by a pin at A and a roller at B. Determine the support reactions. Now, to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions. So, at pin A, I have one vertical support reaction and one horizontal support reaction. At point B, which is roll, roller supported, I have only the vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here, let's call this BY, and this is AX, and this is AY. Furthermore, we have to resolve this 5 kN force into its components. So we have one vertical component and one horizontal component. If this angle is 45 degrees that the truss makes with the horizontal, and if I draw a horizontal line here, then this angle is also 45 degrees because they are alternate angles and if this is 45 degrees and 5 kN force is perpendicular on the truss at right angles so this angle is also 45 degrees so the vertical component becomes 5 sin 45 degrees and the horizontal component becomes 5 cos 45 degrees so now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have Ax plus the horizontal component of the 5 kN force to so 5 cos 45 degrees equals to 0. So Ax comes out to be negative 3.53 kN. This is our first answer. And why we are getting this negative answer? Because the direction we had assumed earlier for Ax to be at right hand side is wrong. Ax is in actual towards the left hand side. And now our second equation of equilibrium would be summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. Ax and Ay will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. So they don't have any moment with respect to the point A, which is basically serving as a pivot point. The By is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this BY will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is this horizontal distance. Which is 4 meters plus 2 meters and then we have to find if this is a triangle, a right angle triangle, then we have to find the horizontal distance of this triangle. So the moment arm is 4 plus 2 plus Let me draw it properly, the triangle. So the triangle looks something like this. 45 degrees. This right here is 6 meters in total. And we are interested in the horizontal distance. So that would be 6 cos 45. This 10 kN force is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 10 kN force will be taken as negative. 
and the moment arm is the horizontal distance that we have calculated as 6 cos 45 degrees plus this 2 meter distance. Now, the 5 sin 45 component is trying to rotate the frame in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 5 sin 45 component will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is, if you consider this smaller triangle, the black one, then the moment arm is equal to the base of this black triangle. So let me draw it separately as well. So we are interested in the base of this triangle and the angle is 45 degrees and the hypotenuse is 4 meters. So the moment arm would be 4 cos 45 degrees. Now this 5 cos 45 component is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction. So the moment produced by this 5 cos 45 will also be taken as negative. So negative 5 cos 45 and the moment arm is the height of this black triangle. So which means this height and it would be 4 sin 45 equals to 0. So when we simplify it, so we have by into 10.24 minus 62.43 and minus 10 another minus 10 equals to 0. So upon further simplification, by comes out to be 8.05 kN. So this is our second answer. Now we have to find the value of Ay. So our third equation of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Ay minus 5 sin 45 plus by minus 10 kN equals to 0. So Ay minus 5 sin 45 plus by which is 8.05 kN minus 10 equals to 0. So upon further simplification, Ay comes out to be negative 5.49 kN. So this is our third answer. And why we are getting this negative answer? Because earlier we had assumed that Ay is acting in the vertically upward direction. But in actual it is acting in a downward direction. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.